Good morning, everybody. Here, Edward Reyes. Um, I have a special, special guest, Tanya Lewis. And uh, Tanya Lewis is with Children's with a Vision, and she's a humanitarian. Actually, she's going to win an award, she just told me, which is great, great news. And uh, I've been with uh, Children's with a Vision on the board for many years now. And I wanted to bring her today because I wanted to kind of introduce her. I mean, I'm sure more than half of my Facebook friends probably didn't know her already. She's kind of a big, a big deal. And uh, so I want to introduce her, kind of talk about what she, who she is, who she is as a person, who, uh, what Children's with a Vision is all about, why she's doing this in the first place. And, and that way, because a lot of people always ask me, well, how can I get involved? What can I do to serve the community? What things are out there? So here I'm bringing the source to you. So Tanya, if you can just introduce yourself. My name is Tanya Lewis. I am the founder and president of Children with a Vision for over 20 years in the Tampa Bay area. Um, we are a faith-based organization. We cater to the community and all needs, um, senior citizens, children, anywhere help is needed. So Tanya, tell me your story. You know, if you can go back a little bit, why did you decide to start this uh, non-for-profit? Well, it started from my adversities growing up as a kid. As I always tell everyone, um, my mother was a single young lady going through a lot. And it took the village, the neighbors, to sure. help with our family. And I never forgot all of the things that we went through, all the hardship and the people along the way who helped me, my mother and my brother along the way. And along that journey, I just always know that I was always going to give back, so, just like someone gave to our family. Now, was it very difficult for you to start the uh, not-for-profit? Like, because I mean, when whenever we go to the events, and I and I can speak out of personal experience, whenever we go even to the back-to-school events, which is one of many, and there's three to five thousand people there. Yes. So, how did you have that build-up? Like, what what was your what was your hustle? What was your struggle to get there? <sighs> At first, it was participation and involvement um, from the community. It was a journey, I tell you. Um, people didn't know and still don't know the work that's in detail behind the scenes to make these events possible. It's a, it's lot, a of lot of work, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of commitment, um, mm -hmm. and it takes everyone. Um, at first, it's just you know myself um, in my backyard um, with the book bag drives. For instance, you know I was packing book bags cooking late at night, people didn't understand, and sure. they just see the date of the event. Of course, mm -hmm. and then they show up and get bad. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there's a lot to go, and, and I, I help, but not to the extent of what Tanya Lewis does, and, and, and some of her like, you, really yeah. close. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. So what what is the demographic? Like, what specifically is, is because, you know, there's a lot of non-for-profits, and what specifically do you target whenever you – whenever for children with the vision well for one i cannot worry about anyone else but what we specifically do and what we're going to do in the community my whole thing is unity for everyone to come together it's not about a certain demographic of people color um i'm from miami and in miami i always grew up with unity no matter what hardship my mother had we was always involved in Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts. My mother always kept us productive. Of and I grew up with those morals and values. So my whole thing when I came to Tampa many years ago is there's no unity and there was no unity sure. amongst each other. And I'm always um, thinking outside the box to break that barrier, to bring everyone together, not just one color, but everyone together. And that's the biggest key to me is it takes a village. And Tanya Lewis, and, and for the people that don't know out there, she literally is everywhere. Like, like I, I was joking with her today about the fishing thing because she's she's lately she's gone uh, fishing. But yet, that's a very isolated event because Tanya Lewis is everywhere. Every event, she's showing up. And she's not showing up like these faux politicians that show up for photo ops. <laughs> If you're one of those people, sorry, but I not my I'm not a fan. She actually goes in and puts the work in, and she helps support the cause. Even if she goes in and shares, like takes photos and videos or whatever, even to help promote their event, she still is, she still does help the cause. Even if when it's not her own event, and I've I've noticed, which is powerful. I mean, she has, I mean, 
hundreds of kids that have gone to the college and graduated uh, high school. In fact, my uh, you know my daughter, you know, she was I think, God, she was like uh, probably three or f maybe four, three. I think like, she was four years old. Yeah, she was my oldest, and she was very uh, young. And Tanya Lewis actually went to her uh, high school graduation. Yes. Plus. Around <laughs> many others, <laughs> oh, we've gone to a God. lot of high school graduations. You know, my whole thing to that, <clears throat> Eddie, is we preach education, and we always tell these kids to get your education. And I'm a firm believer in when they hand you their graduation, um, the diploma. Diploma. Yeah. Well, no, they actually when they give me their invitations, my God. I have to pray on it, everybody. Yeah, yeah. But Tanya Lewis is going to be there. I don't care what's on my schedule. Um, just like this week, I had a lot on my schedule, and I postponed everything for two weeks, and I attended <clears throat> 44 children graduations. I don't like attending one or two for my own kids, and I love them because it's they're long. They're, they're very long. long. And, and But you know what? Those kids have, great, you know, have been with you the whole time, and, and you've seen the change from elementary school Mm -hmm. That you supported them in different uh, activities, fundraisers, or whatever, mm -hmm. and then now you've seen them progress through high school, and and then hopefully through college. I want to make sure that these children understand um, there is a village out here, there and there is unity among some. And my whole key to that is is to make sure everyone else notices the unity and the alliances. You know, um, there's a part of cliques that's out here in this community. Sure. And when you're for the children, when you're for the community, there is no division. It's supposed to be unity. So I want to make sure that the children know that there is unity in children with a vision. There's unity amongst the alliance of people who I network with. And that's what I strive on. That's what my whole thing is. And <clears throat> I don't answer to no one. I answer to God first. Yep. And then yep. second yep. is that I want to make sure that everyone know that there is going to be unity, and especially in times like these with so much division um, and diversity, that we have an alliance in this community. Some people don't notice others, but I make sure, and that's my commitment when I go out here and selfishly give my time because I am my community. And I tell anyone who I meet, I am my community, I'm a part of the community, and what I don't know, I go out. That's why when you say I go everywhere, I am gonna go everywhere. I sacrifice my time because if you own a nonprofit, you gotta be a part of the solution. That means you have to go to the city council meetings. That means you have to go to the school board meetings. Yep. You got to go to every one of these things to make sure that you are abreast of what's going on. So when you hand out information that you know what you're talking about. Which is kind of rare because a lot of nonprofits they stick to what they do and they don't actually go out and, and, and really find out what the problems are. And and you really do uh, dive deep into the uh, into the issues that we can figure out solutions. And then you partner up with the right people to, to yes. make those uh, solutions actually happen. Yes. Because I mean it, it is hard. You need a team. You need you know you need people to work together. And um, like myself and like many others. Um, we, we enjoy partnering up with, with Tanya. In fact, I appreciate you. Uh, thank you. Yes. And and I met Tanya when I used to own the clinic. And we do, you know, we do car washes. Don't tell our age. Don't tell our age. Well, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but we're still 22. <laughs> uh, just the lighting's off, you know, that's what it is. <laughs> and so Tanya not only does give back to, you know, because of the events, um, even for sponsors out there, for example, she really does show a lot of appreciation to the sponsor. She gives them a lot of love. And if you're if you're a business owner, if you're a community leader, or you're trying to get out there and promote your business, and that's not her motive mm -mm. at all. But but I'm but I'm speaking to you as a business person, you know, out there, is if you are a a business owner and you're trying to give back to the community, trying to do something good and get exposure, you know, it's a good uh, way to help out because you really do affect a lot of kids. Well, a lot of people's lives, for that matter. Amen. Um, you, you, I mean, even even the backpack drive. I mean, those look on those kids' faces. It's it's amazing because a lot of them they don't have the money, and their parents don't have the money. And not only do they have the backpack, 
Because they're not picking up backpacks and leaving. Oh no, they're 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 literally like there's food, there's dancing, there's there's uh, uh superhero characters. <laughs> you know, it, it's it's a big event. And again, that's well, one. <clears throat> yeah, event. with that back to school, that was the first <clears throat> project that I started off um, 24 years ago in my oh. backyard with 50 kids, and it surpassed the 50, and probably about the eighth year. Um, the city of Tampa said, you're gridlocked in traffic in the community. Yeah. And they came in and said, Ms. Lewis, let's meet to the table and let's partner um, with the organization and let's put it in a park. And that's how yeah, we ended up park. at Reagan Park Community mm -hmm. Center. Yeah. And my whole thing, that back to school is very imperative to me because when I was a kid, I didn't have the school supplies. My sure. mother didn't have the money. And that's, again, where the neighbors came in and yep. gave my mother, you know, supplies for us. And I always remember um, skipping school because we didn't have the clothes. Skipping school because we didn't have the supplies. It's a lot of social pressure, too. It is a lot of pressure. You know, the, um, the bullying with the kids exactly. because you don't look that hard. <clears throat> And I just wanted to make sure when a kid starts school that they have the initial tools to where they don't have to worry about that peer pressure like we did back in the days. Of course. So for me to see them come in and not just get and go, and I make sure that it has parent participation yes. because we're not babysitters. You can't just <laughs> drop the kids off. No. You have to have your parents there with your children to receive any um, school supplies. And again, like you said, um, it's a day in the park, um, yes. giving back um, with uh, ultimate vendors. Like last year, we had almost 45 vendors uh, from healthcare, HMOs, yes. lawyers, um, uh, community organization leaders. It was a wide variety of uh, companies um, came out to do giveaways. And that day in the park is everything is free. Yep. Nothing is to be sold. Um, my thing to that is, if you take from this community, that means you give back to this community. And I exactly. hold everyone accountable for that. Well, and a lot of the money she generates also from the vendors and things like that um, really does go back in the community. Uh, you know, there's there are not-for-profits that they, they only keep, give back a, certain, a small percentage of it. Uh, Tanya gives back in, 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 well, in money and time and, and supplies and a whole bunch of other things. Cool. So, I mean... It, majority of the, all the money does go back into the community, supporting the community. And beside, beside the backpack drive, if you can kind of give us a quick synopsis of, of what other uh, events that you kind of, you know, because I know you do a lot. Okay. Starting from February, and this is our seventh year with the Grandmother's Gala. The Grandmother's Gala, which, nice. which we just Great. Um, yes. took part in, we honored <clears throat> 575 grandmothers out of the community, chaperoned by 150 males out of the community. And that day is just to show grandmothers that they're not forgotten. You know, we always honor mothers and fathers, um, but the kids are being kept now by the grandmothers, what people don't understand. Yep. Um, because the parent or mother is absent out of their lives, so I wanted to make and, sure. And to touch on that, actually, by the grandmothers, they they brought them in like in in, in limos, right? Or yes, in limos. We actually had three grandmothers be honored in limos. The oldest grandmother was one hundred and ten. <clears throat> That's amazing. Yes, and then we honored Miss Flossie Pittman um, that particular day in. Um, Paying respect, she passed away 30 days after we honored her. That. But you know what? That but she got her flowers while she was living. She did. And that she was did. my biggest thing. That's why I can put a smile on my face because you can't see them flowers when you're dead. No. But you can see them while you're living. I agree. Yes. So um, that day is just to give back. And again, I thank God for all the sponsors because normally all the sponsors don't show up. They, you know, uh, they sponsor but they and they don't show up. Of course. This year we had every sponsor to show up yeah. with their families and their children and it was amazing and it was a great party for everybody. Yes. Besides yes. the grandma, this is a great party yes. the food was amazing. Yes, the, the hospitality, was, oh, the service. Great. And matter of fact we had ten well, we had seven charter buses and yeah. we had three limos to transport them all the way to the Fort Harrison Hotel. Yeah. So that that's a day they'll never forget them. When I go amongst the community, that's all I hear, Miss Lewis. Thank you, thank you. And I said, no, thank you for being the glue to the community yes. and to let you know that you are appreciated. Um, that's one of the things, uh, one of the events, um, the Grandmother's Gala, that's an annual event. 
And then, of course, right behind that is the back to school. The back yes. to school been in existence um, for over 25 years, but on sure. paper is 19 years. This is our 19th annual, and it'll be coming up August the 5th at Reagan Park Community Center. Um, from, yes. 11 to, from, from 11, 11 to, to 6, right? Or it's no, actually from 6. A, no, it's actually from 12 to 6. 12 to 6, okay. 12 to 6, um, noon. Bring your kids, parents, bring your children. Don't drop them off. Don't drop them off, please. <laughs> we're not, we're not daddy daycare here. No. No, it's not. And so after that one, um, we just actually <clears throat> incorporated this year, um, June the 24th, we will be giving away seafood all day okay. on June the 24th uh, at there, Bounce I'm Boy. I'm I know there. you're going to be there. Okay. And that address is going to be 5008 East 10th Avenue. It's on the corner of 50th and Columbus Drive in the Columbus Shopping Plaza. Again, that is going to be June the 24th. Um, from 11 to 4 at Bounce Boy. We're actually going to rope off the whole entire parking lot and it's going to be uh, pro fishermen. Actually, okay, T.A. Nice. Mahoney and Children with a Vision is partnering up. And T.A. Mahoney is, company. yes, it's a big company. They actually have the boat um, industry, boating okay. industry, where you can buy marine supplies, fishing okay. gear. They're on the corner of Adamo and 50th Street. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. and Myself, which is Children's Division, and T.A. Mahoney, we're partnering and we're allowing the community to know about fishing industry. Because a lot sure. of us don't know the in details of fishing. <clears throat> like uh, yesterday, I'm out there fishing and somebody said, Miss Lewis, do you got license? And I'm like, license to fish? License to fish. And then I had to think about it. Yeah. See, that's something I didn't know. And that's something T.A. Mahoney is going to tell all of us about the ins and odds on that day, oh, plus nice. giving away... Um, <clears throat> supplies, they're going to be giving away fishing gear, so okay. I am actually um, very, very excited for that day for all the community, and matter of fact, we do need community participation, we need <clears throat> volunteers, because it's going to be massive amount of people, you can contact me, 813-235-5656, 813-235-5656, we need everyone aboard on that event and also the event that's coming up August 5th, which is back to school. And I'll put and I'll put a link on it. Um, well, I'll, I'll tag her phone number into the post as well. And also, if you guys you know need anything, you can send me a comment um, or a private message or a comment below. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yes, and then we do an Operation Safe Halloween. I don't condone the Halloween. Um, my parents never took us door to door. Sure. We dangerous. always, you know, had cousins to come at home and sure. in the family. We all joined together. We ate all the food, candy, and take your children home. Sure. So yeah. the morals again, which we grew up on in the foundation, um, this year, this is actually my eighth year doing the Operation Safe Halloween, but I partner up with Bounce Boy, which is Mr. Gary Anzi, okay. um, with Bounce Boy again. Um, we was actually in the parking lot and actually Tampa Police Department, because of what was going on with the Seminole Heights, I wasn't uh, gonna do it this particular yeah, last year. Yeah. But they said, no, Miss Lewis, we'll make sure that the kids are safe. So they actually sent... It's actually a great, a great message to the community. Correct. Saying that we're safe again. Yes. So they actually sent out like 15 to 20 units. And okay. nice. they actually covered the whole entire shopping plaza and massive kids, massive okay. kids. And we had a trunk or treat. Um, many community leaders, sure. organizations came out. They decorated their trunks and we had multiple tables out and the kids got all the candy. Bouncer Boy um, supplied all the bounce houses. So I okay. thank nice. Mr. Gary Anzi because he's such a fabulous person and he always give back to the community. So if you ever need any inflatables, make sure you look at Bouncer Boy because he's always giving back. So myself, I'm yeah. always contributing to giving back and make sure I shed light on his entity. Well, and going back to what I said earlier on, you know, Tanya supports the people that support her. Uh, so a lot of people that do vendors and, and, and uh, community leaders, when they support a charitable cause, they support uh, Tanya and, and or Children's with a Vision, she does share the love back, which is which is pretty amazing, which is something that you don't see as often either. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes they take the dollars and that's about it. So it's a continuous, it's a continuous relationship. It's not a one-time kind of deal. No, it's not. 
And then also as well, we do the uh, Thanksgiving blessing okay. where I cook all the food and make sure that we go out. We feed the homeless every Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving Day. Um, but that's difficult. The, I, it's difficult for me to show up to that one because my <laughs> wife will kill me. If I, yes. but, but it is a good, great, great reason why you do it. It is good. And I appreciate all the sponsors as well, as well again. And um, when I started that, um, it started out on um, downtown Tampa, feeding okay. the homeless. And we still do downtown Tampa. But actually now, uh, this particular last year, we was at the Nehemiah um well, Nehemiah, it was a, um, how you say it? It's almost like a flea market, but it's a pavilion. Oh, okay. That's okay. on 29th and Lake okay. in the heart of East Tampa. <clears throat> and we made sure that we cooked for the community. I thank God for Hooters, who was a title sponsor amongst yeah, many more lot. sponsors, Wilson Funeral Home yeah. and others, um, Ray Williams, a host of um, sponsors donated towards giving back. So, and not just give back. Actually, the sponsors actually come out and yes. the volunteers. Yes, we had over a hundred volunteers wow. and sponsors that came out this particular um, past Thanksgiving and they gave their time for a couple yeah. of hours. They put aside their family just for those couple of hours to come out and make sure that they gave to the community and put their hands, not just donate, they put on gloves and yeah, it was on yeah. the serving line. And I tell you, if you've never seen it, the people are appreciative. Not that we just give them a hot meal, not sandwiches. We give them a hot traditional meal. They're sitting down yeah, at tables, turkey, yeah, you turkey yeah, dressing, yeah. macaroni and cheese, and it's just a host of food. And we have tables um, where everybody come and donate clothing, and sure. the community can just go on the tables and pick out what they want. Um, that's the Thanksgiving blessing and Christmas. Um, I started a Christmas uh, give back uh, for about five years. Yeah, and that's when the the was it was it the Rough Rider? Who who was it that comes with the motorcycle? Actually, that is Cookson Hill Tour. Okay, yeah. One that. thing I don't do <clears throat> is if I see someone else is bigger and doing something bigger. Sure. I was actually um, asked to come to an event one year. Matter of fact, two years in a row, but I never did go. And this particular year. Um, Mr. Jeffrey Taylor asked me to come visit Cookson Hill Toy Run, okay. which they cater to disabled and disability kids. And I went. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you, I've never seen nothing like that in my life, where over three to four hundred motorcycle riders from all different entities come together. They ride in with all of the toys on motorcycles, oh, trailers, and that trucks. One. Yeah. I did go to that one. And, okay. um, you see the kids, you see ambulance bringing in kids yeah. on stretchers up under tents, you know, to receive Christmas. Yeah, it's And amazing. when I experienced that the first year after I went around the tree and I cried for about hours <laughs> of seeing it, yeah, yeah. I vowed that I wouldn't do Christmas again. I partnered with Cookson Hill Toy yeah, Run definitely. with Miss Sherry Brown, and um, this is the third year. So if someone else is doing something bigger, I'm not going to reinvent that wheel. Oh, Somebody still, else is doing something bigger. You're still doing things with unity. You're still doing things for the community. Yes. So now, Children <coughs> with a Vision, um, not just partner, we sponsor. Um, I make sure that everything that I collect, that I've been collecting for Christmas, I make sure that Cookson Hill receive those items. Okay. So those are some of the major um, events that we do all year round. Um, I do more than that. But. She does. Yeah, she does. She does a lot. I just kind of, you know, I, I would say a quick synopsis, but it wasn't really quick because there's, she does so much, right? And um, if you guys are really looking to help the cause and you're looking for something, even goodwill for that matter, um, you know, Tony Lewis is a super great resource. And if she can't help you, she always has somebody that can, can help you. And even if you don't like people call me all the time for resources and and not always the nonprofit just random things and I can direct them to the right people whatever Tanya Lewis also is a phenomenal resource for anything yeah I mean because she's been around so many different people and so many different uh, community leaders and and, and um, people in different organizations that she's a good person to talk to even if you're trying to figure out what to do um, She's not a you know not a life coach per se. No, no. But but 
but she is that good of a person that she does talk to you and, and if you get to know her, she, she, uh, she really does want to get to know you as well. So it, it was really a pleasure to have uh, Miss Lewis Thank on. And I know, I know video is really not her thing, but she's doing phenomenally well, <laughs> phenomenally well. And um, we're going to share this, um, uh, well, it's going to be on our Facebook. And then we have the uh, more professional video that's going to come up here pretty soon. So you guys can be more than welcome to share it. And, and like I said, if you have any comments, questions, or whatever, you know, please let us know. Um, do you have any closing, anything you want to end with? or? Well, I'm going to give um, the viewers um, all avenues. We're on social media, <coughs> LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, um, YouTube. Everything is children with a vision across the board. So if you drop children with a vision in Google search engine, you're going to find all the avenues of social media like our pages. Yes. Um, the website is www.childrenwithavisioninc.com. And also as Children with a Vision, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. So um, if you ever want to find out what we're doing, what's coming up next, um, I'm always posting every Monday what's going on in the community, yeah. what's going on with Children with a Vision, um, not just my events, but others as well. A lot of times things don't cost money, they're free out here, of course. Um, but people don't take out the time to know where they are, what what's going on. I make sure, again, that's why I always give my time going out yeah. to find the resources so people can know what's out here. You got a lot of parents and um, people that sit at home and don't know what to do and now since I found out since I've been sharing sure. those um, every Monday what's going on now me. I see a lot of the of parents and people showing up at those events so um, I think that a lot of time that I get tired of doing it but um, it does help a lot of people so I'm going to continue to do that you know it's funny and before we end we're talking about that subject sometimes I you know I do a lot of these videos and and sometimes I don't feel like I'm reaching people at times. Mm. And then I'll go somewhere and people say, you know what? That made a big difference in my life. Yes. And I get now I get on average about five to five to seven uh, messages a day just on, on even just on Facebook for that matter. <laughs> and I answer questions and I, you know, on the way home or on the way um, from home to work, I answer questions and, and I literally spend five minutes talking to somebody. And they're super grateful. I mean, they, Man, they, they are they, like, you don't, you don't realize how many people you affect. You're impacting. You're, you're impacting. I mean, because sometimes people are they're too busy. They're not competent, whatever the case might be. But, and then, you, you know, months will pass and then you'll be in revenge and say, you really motivate me. You really made a change in my life. Yes. And, and that's why it's powerful. That's why we keep doing what we do because um, we understand it's not gonna you're not gonna reach everybody, but if we can change a few people's lives and impact a few people's lives, it's well worth it. Yes. And and that and that's why we keep doing what we do, and and that's why Tanya, I know keep, she keeps doing what she does as well. It's really to to give back and help the community, and help our society in a whole, especially our local society, because we live here. We live here. We should support our local society, and and that's what um, I know I'm doing, and I know for sure she's doing as well. Yes. So, um, like I said, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment. Uh, you guys have our number, 813-421-3411. But again, that's for the law, law firm. But if you have any questions on this, send me the um, send me a message or, um, or you know, comment below, okay? All right, guys, thanks. And thank you for having me, Mr. Thank you. Thank you.